Alright, next up in a series of ammunition in the collection, we're going to take a look at the 357. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I guess they're all one of my favorites, but this is one of my favorite or of the favorites because I carry it every day. So uh, let's take a look. We've got lots of different stuff here. 357's a pretty old round, so there's lots and lots of uh, potential to collect this one. And since it's still quite popular, uh, there's quite a bit of modern stuff out there as well. So we'll get the elephant in the room out of the way, and that's this big long tampon looking one that everybody likes to comment on. And this is definitely unique. This is a 357 uh, Thompson, and uh, this one is for the single shot Thompson contenders. And uh, you can see that it's a 357 and it just is a shot shell so this is like a maraca whole bunch of shot up here whole bunch of powder back here you shoot it through that single shot uh, 357 pistol and that gives you I guess some um, distance at silhouettes I'm really not sure what you'd use that thing for but it's definitely a conversation starter and I do have a whole box of them so if you're interested in acquiring one for your ammo collection and you've got uh, something that you want to trade uh, for one then let me know because I do have a bunch of them and I am willing to trade them uh, for other interesting stuff that I don't have yet uh, let's dig in from this angle at the other weird 357's and that'll be this 357 SIG so obviously a weird one it's for a semi-auto and it's basically a 40 trunk down to 9 weird and then we've got this another big one here this is a 357 maximum, so not just a regular old 357 Magnum, like what you're used to, but an actual 357 Max. Very cool, and the only time I've ever even seen one, and I have it in my collection. Very happy for that. So let's dig into these typical 357s. We start out with the shot shell over here, and there's probably a lot of other ones out there, but. Uh, this is the one I've got, and I will mention they are basically the same as the 38s because they sell them as 38 357 shots, but uh, it's all you get, so that's why I put it in here with the 357s. And it's almost as long as the 357s, so anyway, we'll dig in next to these, I believe, is a, a Corbon, and it's a pre fragmented with the uh, polymer on the tip. Same thing here, I think, but uh, I'm not sure. Then we got a couple, of, let's see, we got some silver, like hard cast lead maybe, or else uh, silver. Uh, then we've got this uh, red tip, we've got a conical over here, a uh, bunch of different lead tipped uh, hollow points. One regular hollow point there, a couple of full, full metal, I guess you'd call them hollow point and then uh, a couple of different full metal jackets over here and because it's a revolve around we're going to see a lot of lead stuff and then this uh, powder coated lead so lots of different projectile shapes a lot of different projectile types and materials uh, and then of course different kinds of technology in the uh, hollow points Something you'll notice with uh, just about all the 357 soft tips is they get all mashed up. And I don't know if that's from storage or from being smashed up in vehicles uh, going to and from places. But this one's pretty apparent. It looks almost, you know, the lead is very soft. So it doesn't take much to uh, really misshape it. And I imagine that could be uh, detrimental for performance as well as accuracy uh, potentially. So uh, some of these, I think, have more potential. This is I think what I carry, um, and some definitely have more potential than others uh, for carry ammo. So uh, again, I'm going to mention uh, carrying, uh, collecting the ammunition is pretty inexpensive. Just look down when you're at the range; you'll find a lot of this stuff on the ground. Uh, if you talk to people while they're shooting, you can sometimes get a sample from their box uh, as they're shooting it. Most people won't mind missing around here and there. Uh, talk to the range safety officers at the range. They may have a coffee can or something where they put the duds and uh, you can dig through there and find interesting new samples for your collection. 
one of the tips I'll also mention is I like to take pictures of my uh, ammo. I do that all the time, as you notice if you follow us on the Instagram. And that way I'm taking pictures because it's fun to take pictures of something like this right here, just because it's interesting. But then I also am taking a picture so next time I'm at the range, I have an idea because I'm not going to remember every single round I have. But if I take enough pictures of it occasionally, uh, I'll know what um, what I've got, so I'll know what to grab and what to leave there. So I'm not getting another 1,600 of these, and instead I'm getting a, a new type that I don't have yet. So that's uh, my collection of interesting 357s. Uh, let us know with some uh, feedback, wherever you happen to see the video, what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.